Wish Ender. This exotic has had me hyped for weeks. I saw footage from the Bungie reveal showcasing a double kill. A beautiful one arrow headshot to two people killing them. I thought to myself, I gotta have this thing. I gotta try it. Because when you mix in the ability to essentially wall hack your opponents and see them through, this thing looks really cool. With the Broadhead Arrow perk, the arrow pierces its targets and damages the target on entry and exit. One shot can over-penetrate multiple targets. It's pretty cool. Anti-Taken Fletching. Specialized in taking down Taken targets, meaning you're going to do more damage to Taken enemies. It's like 20%. Pretty cool. Not bad. High tension string. Increase the accuracy, slower draw time. But the big one is Queen's Wrath. While aiming down sights with a fully drawn bow, you will see targets highlighted through walls. And the distance on this is pretty insane. It can give you some of the best vision and information in PvP. It allows you to line up a shot quick in PvE. And goddamn, look at these stats that impact nearly max accuracy, stability. It looks like this could be the one to one-hit targets. With the slowest draw time we've ever seen, Wish Ender might be the best bow. The, the most dominant destructive force in any activity we've seen to date. Or, you know, maybe it's a piece of shit and there's no real reason to use it. Anyways, we're going to be looking at the Wish Ender today. This is a very interesting bow. You can see that it highlights your targets. It can shoot through your targets. It's pretty damn cool. Look at that. Bam! Shooting two at a time! This thing is wicked! It's fun. I like it. Now, in PvE, um, uh, uh, there's a lot of perks that are gonna get wasted here. Do you really need to wall hack and, uh, and see a bunch of dregs on the other side of a, a car? Or, or, or a boulder? Probably not. It's not gonna change up your gameplay that much. If you see something on your radar, you're gonna be cautious already. And if it's in PvE, do you really need to see their exact position? Now, you could pop in and out of cover and line up the perfect shot. Yes, absolutely. But it's not going to have as much value as in PvP. Now, the other thing too is with the broad arrow, where you're going to be lining up a shot and killing two enemies. Wow, that looks really, really cool. Guess how many times that actually happens? The answer is not that much. However, with the extremely slow draw speed of this bow, there may be times where you want to line it up and kill two with one arrow. But you also have to remember, it's a skinny little arrow. Skinnier than my tiny little dinky. And chances are, even if they are close and you're trying to line up that shot, landing two crits is going to be risky business. Not going to happen that often. If you're trying to go for even the body shots and line it up, there's chances that you leave them alive. And if they're a yellow health bar enemy, it is going to be an absolute nuisance if you're not trying to simply crit them, and you're probably better off just going for the headshots one after another. The broad arrow perk just doesn't do enough. And while it's a cool feature, it's a cool feature that isn't gonna really change your gameplay that much. You could simply use Trinity Ghoul and AoE all of your targets. It's going to be 10 times, 20 times more effective than this for dealing with multiple targets. And so I don't even consider that a strength of this weapon whatsoever. It's a nice little thing that can happen, but if you're relying on it, I think you're doing something wrong because there's just better options. Oh boy! MTash is getting negative already. Oh, we're just getting started with this piece of shit. The high impact tends to be overkill on trash mobs, while the draw time being one of the worst we've ever seen makes it an absolute chore to shoot it and, and use this bow. So what you end up happening is overkill for literally every single enemy you're going to shoot that is a red health bar enemy, while slowing down that rate of fire so much that you probably would have been better off with pretty much any other gun in the game. Pulse Rifles, Hand Cannons, Scouts, they'd all do the exact same thing, probably faster. Now, once you start stepping up into Yellow Health Bar enemies, the high impact on this thing can actually have some value, and I'm not gonna lie, it's a treat to do that huge burst damage against something like a Taken Knight or a Taken Captain, or whatever it might be. 
but that draw speed makes all of the times in between so painful to use that it really is a chore in my opinion. For PvE, I do not think that this thing is very good at all. Now my aim with this bow in a lot of these clips is very lazy, I'm not landing crits the way I should, so don't judge it off of these clips. I used it for like three hours trying to get an idea of this weapon, and I'm just throwing together whatever I see while I discuss. Now one of the big issues I found was, when there was multiple enemies in something like Gambit, I couldn't deal with them fast enough. The draw speed on this thing is so damn slow that I would get pressured by enemies and feel very uncomfortable using this, which would lead to me using more shots or missing more shots, uh, and it just, it didn't feel good ever. I never felt like dominating with this. Even with these red health bar gambit enemies, I was like, god damn it, there's so much effort needed to kill them. I could run around with my midnight coup and just tap, 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 killing things, killing things, here and there, everything's good. I almost made a song out of it, it feels so awesome. But with this bow, it would be more along the lines of, I hate this stupid bow because it shoots at the speed of a snail. You know what I mean? I would break out into a, a ballad about this bitch because I just don't like it. Now, I know that I'm a shitty bow user. I get it. I get it. I ain't crittin'. I ain't hitting my crits. But even when I was, I always felt to myself, oh man, I feel like I should be using a different weapon here. I feel like I should switch to my shotgun. I feel like I should just run up and melee things because it felt better to do. There are cases in Gambit against trash mobs that if you don't crit them, they don't die. And then you gotta, you gotta, you gotta draw that string again to kill him, and I probably could've just double meleeed it and got a kill faster. I don't know. I just feel like there's there's just something off here. They got, either gotta up the damage and make this thing a goddamn one-hit KO on, like, everything, or they need to reduce how long it takes to draw it, and they're not gonna do that. They're just, they're probably never gonna change that. There's so many times when I feel like this thing is just not enough. It doesn't bring enough value, even against taken enemies where you're hitting, you know, 20% harder, it's not enough. And, uh, you know, against Gambit Invaders, awesome. You can tell where they are maybe a second sooner than everyone else, but you probably would have known where they are based on the radar. As for a DPS weapon, it just doesn't feel rewarding because of that speed. And the fact that if you accidentally miss because someone flinched the boss, you're putting so much time in between your shots, it, it just... It feels wrong. I think this might have made me feel the most weak any weapon in the game has to date. And that is saying a lot. That is, that's a pretty bold statement, but I couldn't help but feel like I was handicapped while using this. I felt like I was hurting myself with my overall DPS, my slaying potential, everything. I just didn't feel good with it. And so for PvE, I think this thing is bad, in my opinion. And I know that I'm not the biggest bow guy, and uh, and I, I think there might be some moments where it shines that I'm not sure what they are. You know, maybe I'm blind and I'm missing out on something really obvious, but I tried it in Strikes, felt average. I tried it in Gambit, felt maybe a little bit better because of the taken enemies, but I was never impressed with this thing. But that's PvE. We saw footage from PvP, a double headshot, slaying out two people with one arrow, and I had to think to myself, that looks badass as hell. That looks powerful as hell. So is it any good in PvP? The Queen's Wrath perk gives you the most vision and information we've ever seen in Destiny 2's PvP. It essentially allows you to see through walls and call out the position of your enemies. You can pop out of cover to line up shots. It's pretty damn cool. It's awesome. In fact, in 6v6, if you're playing something like Control, you could honestly just be a scout for your team, and it would be phenomenal. If you're ever playing with no radar, which doesn't typically happen anymore, it would be invaluable if you were playing against a campy piece of shit on the other team. If you're playing something like Trials of Osiris, and you're not quite sure where they are, and maybe you have a teammate flanking, you can use that vision in a way that we've never seen before, and I do think that it's good. Vision is always a strong thing in PvP. You're essentially Widowmaker. But there are a lot of times where I feel that it doesn't work that well. 
There are times where it's a little bit buggy or it didn't draw the bow far enough or you didn't aim down soon enough or whatever it might be and it ends up not tracing or tracking people the way I had hoped. If you're popping in and out of cover, you're repeatedly aiming and drawing the string, there are times where I honestly think the game gets confused and it doesn't apply the perk when it should. I don't know if there's a small cooldown so you can't abuse this thing over and over and over again, but there were a ton of times where I felt like the bow wasn't doing its job and probably the only thing that it does well, the vision aspect. Because without the vision aspect, this thing is a joke. This thing is a absolute abomination of a bow. I would never recommend this bow to anyone. The draw time on it is so bad and so slow that if someone is sprinting towards you, you're dead. It is a headshot, headshot kill. You cannot headshot body shot in most situations unless they're extremely low armor. And so what this leads to essentially is me always feeling panicked. I'm telling you with, uh, with it on PC and people titan skating, I always was terrified for my life because the second someone pushed up on me, it was over, especially with my aim. I'm not hitting all my crits. I, I felt like a goddamn potato out there. If you land your shots, hell yeah, you can get that double crispy shot. If you're popping in and out of cover and you're using that vision, you can get some kills with it. But I honestly think there's like 10 other bows that would probably do better or 10 different rolls on the small pool of bows that we have. I, can't, I just can't recommend this to anyone. I cannot say like, oh my god, you gotta try Wish Ender. Oh fuck man, you can do the same thing with any other bow in the game. Easy peasy. I, I honestly felt like this thing was was more hindering than helping me in a lot of cases because I started trying to rely on the vision because I was like, well, I can, I can line up my shots by looking through the wall. And then the perk wouldn't proc and so I was hard scoping down a lane and getting rid of my radar. Most of the things you could do with this, you could have just done with some smart radar reads. Now, if you say to me, Michael, I want to use the bow, I want to try it out, how do I make it good? There's two things that I can recommend that might make it usable or, or good, honestly, in some situations. Number one is on Hunters with the Oath Keeper Exotic. It allows you to hold down your bow draw uh, indefinitely. So, you can keep that max charge, you can keep that vision all day long, and you can scout for your team, uh, you can line up those perfect shots, you can essentially hard scope hallways, and you could probably make this thing work. I would definitely back it up with something like a shotgun in case you don't kill the person when they start pushing you, but there is some potential on the hunter with the Oath Keeper, and that's probably one of the only times I would say that this vision is good or OP because you essentially know where everyone is at all times, as long as they're within range. Now, if you want to do more damage, you could use something like the Well of Radiance on the new Sun uh, Sunsinger, or the, the Dawn Blade, or whatever you want to call it. And, I mean, there's some potential there, too. It is a high-impact weapon, and you're going to slice people up if you hit them in the face. So, yeah, it's pretty cool there as well on the Warlock. But the amount of times that this thing shines is very limited. The range that you can use this vision, you probably could have done the same thing with radar, or you're putting yourself at a bit of a risk that someone will push you with something like a shotgun. And with how prevalent shotguns are in the game right now, there's a very good chance that that's gonna happen. And so I honestly feel like you could play smarter and safer with a better bow a lot of the time. I just can't get behind it. I'm sorry, my dudes. I wish I liked it. I wish it was better, but I just can't say with any confidence that Wish Ender is a good bow. That's all I wanted to say. That's all I can really say. There are tiny, tiny, tiny pockets where this might have value. But in almost every situation, it's, a, it's, it's kind of just average. It's actually probably below average. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.